All right, everyone, welcome back. Now it's almost the end of January, and I just wanna go over some of the key news articles that took place throughout the period. And we're gonna first start with BlackRock, which actually deferred withdrawals from UK property funds back in early January. And so for those unaware, BlackRock is a British asset manager dealing with property funds, and they manage around 8.1 billion pounds in assets. And so in the third quarter, there was £3.5 billion that was supposed to be given back to their clients, but that has now been deferred. And this isn't the first time the second quarter redemptions were supposed to be paid out as well at the beginning of September, but was also deferred as well. Now, of course, the property sector has been struggling somewhat given the rise in interest rates. And so this has made it a sector that's not ideal to invest in as it currently stands. Now contrasting the real estate sector with that of the EV sector, we have Lucid Motors that has closed a 1.5 billion US dollar round from the Saudi Public Wealth Fund, along with other investors out there. Now for any shareholders in Lucid Motors, these types of processes where large VC firms invest into the company can sometimes dilute our holdings, but you need these large contributors out there to keep the company running. But we can actually see here that Lucid raised the majority of the cash with a private sale of nearly 85 million shares and those shares go into the Saudi Arabia's public investment fund. So from those 86 million shares the remaining 600 million was raised with a secondary stock offering and this is generally where the dilution takes place for standard investors out there. This gives an account balance of 3.85 billion US dollars which means they have some amount of money kept in their pockets and they're not burning through as quickly compared to some other rival companies out there. And then moving on to the first British satellite launch, this unfortunately ended in failure. It was Virgin with their Virgin orbit that they noticed an anomaly in which both the rocket and the nine containing satellites were destroyed as they headed back down to Earth. We can see the actual flight path that was scheduled beginning in Cornwall, but unfortunately failing halfway during the journey. Now these types of events are very costly. No doubt they'll be, as Tim Peake stated, getting into space very difficult and there'll be valuable lessons learned during the process so that Hopefully in the future when they try this launch again, they'll be able to make sure that this specific scenario won't happen again. And then the final piece of news to cover is that of Microsoft, which are considering investing 10 million US dollars in OpenAI, which is the maker of ChatGPT. Now for those unaware, ChatGPT can answer pretty much any question going. It's unable to provide information past 2021, but that will be changing in the future. And while it's used the World Wide Web to scrape data, to both learn from and infer during runtime, it's unable to pull content straight from the internet. So who knows, maybe in the future, ChatGPT will know who I am. But overall, a very powerful system that is changing the way that we search and have questions answered for us. It's not always correct, it gets quite a lot wrong, but it's a general text-based model that provides some very powerful responses. So some of the key points is that many individuals have heard of ChatGPT. People are looking at the likes of Google and wondering how will search be rivaled in the future or will search become obsolete? That's a topic for a different day. But some examples here with ChatGPT being able to write poetry, create content, and even help solve problems. So any product that is wide reaching can mean that this type of tech can be a real disruptor. Of course, there's concerns with how far this tech can go. If, for instance, in the future, it's using real-time data from the internet, which is going to be possible in a future version, then we're only going to see ChatGPT in strength. We have Microsoft considering an investment of 10 billion US dollars into OpenAI. They've already put money into this company, and so that'll be a total of 29 billion US dollars. The goal is to monetize this product. So if you are a techie person, then you'll be able to use the ChatGPT model with their API. You can actually see ChatGPT providing information here, but a quick Google search would bring you to the same result. Generally, ChatGPT provides you with some code examples, as we can see on the screen at the moment, in this case, written in Python. But this just shows how powerful this tool is. It's generating a response as we speak in real time, using all the learnings from their model. In the future, we'll probably see other platforms that become more specific. So within a given industry, let's just say it's the health sector, they'll be able to leverage this generic chat GPT model 
and then be able to provide more specific information that has more specific training data and then it can provide even more sensible responses. And those are the news reports for January, there's quite a lot that took place this month. Now if you like this type of content, let me know in the comments below, I may consider doing one for the end of February, March etc. The same that can be sorted out on my end in the future. Thanks everyone who has been subscribing to this channel. New videos are posted each week and thanks everyone for watching and with that said I'll catch you in the next one.